Okay, so the question was, can our search for meaning only be understood as a distraction from the meaningless of existence? The simple answer is yes. Um, after reading this, it's very clear he doesn't sugarcoat basically how depressing life is and how meaningless it is. But it's like, you know, after reading this, it is it is depressing. It is. But it's like, it makes a lot of sense, though. Because, like, you know, as we evolved from you know, basically nothing, our minds are able to take in more, we're able to comprehend more, and we're able to elaborate with other people more. So yeah, it is pretty depressing, and our brains and our consciousness has just evolved way too far. And we have a weird, we are more aware of things that really, the simplicity of life and what it is, we really shouldn't even be aware of. But anyways, so he talks about the four things or different ways to distract ourselves basically so with isolation you know when i read about that i think about that it's basically that we should just ignore the the fact that our life is meaningless basically like we shouldn't talk about how horrible or even the small horrible parts of life to other people um the more we talk about it the more we can elaborate on it and the more everyone's ideas of how horrible and our views of whatever get transferred back and forth so basically with isolation just ignore how horrible life is and try to keep going with anchoring i see that as basically like a devotion so like think of it as like you know your family you love your family and you find joy in your family so if you were to like end your life you're taking joy out of their meaning of life so you have to find some something in some way to find a devotion to something to where you must keep going and try to find a little joy in your life even temporarily which then also kind of goes with distraction so like distraction he says is the most popular mode of protection which is true that's easy and it's so broad so like with distraction you can watch a movie for two hours and be distracted it could even be a comedy and you're happy for two hours even though life is horrible basically with distraction you it's so broad that you could also you could find joy in playing sports. You could find that as a distraction. You could work every single day of your life to distract yourself from how horrible it is, basically. Um, distraction is very easy to understand, and I feel like everybody can find some form of distraction. So I think that's why it's pretty easy to understand with that one. But sublimation is harder for me to understand because it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, which he does say that it is the rarest way and like the rarest mode of protection i guess r- rarest way to limit our awareness to be specific i guess but to me it's kind of like we shouldn't try to fix our life on something but rather like try it's like a process of transforming your life so, so like it doesn't really make a lot of sense but like the other three are easier to understand as a distraction in our search for more in our search for meaning so it, it is a depressing read, but like a lot of it does make sense and a lot of it makes you think more about how simple life should be to where we've just evolved too far. So it's a pretty interesting read. I did enjoy it very much, yeah.